For those of you who have trouble overthinking on the golf course or talking yourself out of a bad shot before you've even hit it, I've got a, a setup here for you to get you into a consistent pre-shot routine. You'll have heard that term before. This one's very specific and very methodical. Um, and I want you to treat it as a skill to be learned, just as you would go to the driving range and learn your grip or learn your stance. This is a skill to be learned that you can practice before you get onto the golf course. Now, you'll see where I've got set up here. This area here is called the think box. This is where you're going to make your decisions prior to going in and executing the shot. So at this point, I may have taken my club out of my bag and I'm gonna have a defined start to my shot. So I will do it by taking, uh, taking my glove, or um, I'm starting to make some swings and whatnot. The point here is I'm doing my thinking. I'm choosing an eight iron. I'm gonna hit it high or low, or I'm picking a target. If you've got any negative thoughts, this is okay in this space here. Get through those, decide what you're trying to do. What we want you to do is to move from the think box and cross what we're gonna call the commitment line into the play box. So. Back here, anything negative is happening, that's fine. Follow it through, work towards what you're trying to achieve. A, a straight eight iron onto the green, whatever that may be. As I said, once we cross the commitment line, you're gonna walk into the play box. Once you have committed, you have committed to your shot. Anything that is distracting you at this point or negative thoughts coming in, remove yourself from the play box, back into the think box. So, back here, we've thought about it. We walk in, into the think box. We take our grip, stance, etc. Have a look at the target. We are here to execute. Once we've executed, I like to have an imaginary line here that we'll call the exit box, all right? You've hit the shot. Maybe good, maybe bad, doesn't matter. What we want to do once we've crossed this line is that shot has now finished. Too many times we dwell on shots from holes gone by and it turns into a negative in the round. We want this point here, it could be you know, taking off your cap or pulling off your glove, crossing an imaginary line. The shot is over. Treat this as a skill. It won't work straight away, but the more you do it, the stronger the habit becomes.